I'm really excited to be here and grateful for the opportunity to share some of my work with you today. None of this work would be possible without the exceptional support I've received from my colleagues and our funders, especially the support I've received from our lab's PI, Malik, and all the colleagues who've contributed directly to this work, especially Adriana. In my thesis, I study mitochondria, which I find to be really fascinating because they're the only metazoan organelle that contains their own genome separate from nuclear DNA. This genome originates from mitochondrial alpha-proteobacteria origins, and today is a really pared-down version. So it's exceptionally small. In humans, just about 16.5 kb. And even though it's really small, it's absolutely critical for mitochondrial function. It encodes for 13 essential proteins of the energy-generating electron transport chain, as well as encoding the RNAs and tRNAs necessary for translating those essential proteins locally within the mitochondrial matrix. So you can imagine that mitochondria are really critical for cellular metabolism and organismal homeostasis more broadly. Because they're so critical, it's easy to think that there would be a really robust cellular toolkit for ensuring that mitochondria are correctly regulated. But in fact, we find the opposite. Mitochondrial DNA in most mesozoan species has just one single regulatory region, one primary packaging factor, one primary transcription factor, one DNA polymerase, one RNA polymerase, on and on. So with so few potential regulatory proteins, another means of regulation may be through epigenetic modifications. So in my work, I study mitochondrial DNA methylation. For this, I leverage nanopore long read sequencing to assess mtDNA methylation, specifically 6MA adenine methylation. Using our model system, C. elegans, I extract DNA from animals, which includes mtDNA, and then linearize that circular genome using a single cutter restriction enzyme. I then library prep the DNA using a native barcoding kit, sequence on a minion MK1B, and perform base calling using Dorado 0.7.1, but I'm really excited to use Dorado 0.8 in the future. And so with this, what I find is that mitochondrial DNA is in fact 6-MM methylated. And this was really exciting because this is a whole new way of regulating the mitochondria. This is further supported by some biochemical evidence and experiments we've performed in vitro. And so what I see specifically is that 6MA is present in most mitochondrial reads, where in the upper part of this figure, a horizontal turquoise line is one mtDNA molecule, and the black marks are 6MA methylation sites. But what I hope you can appreciate is that it's really heterogeneous. So some reads have very little, modifi very little modifications, and others have many. We're still working to understand what information this is conferring about the status of that mtDNA. But this is coupled with uh, some really exciting genetic studies we have that are showing that it may have a critical role in regulating mitochondrial stress responses. I'm also really excited by the potential for leveraging nanopore to assess some really outstanding questions we have in better understanding mitochondrial DNA mutations and even basic things that are still not very well understood, like mtDNA genome replication mtDNA transcription, uh, and even translation. Thank you.